I knew that the day was going to be a difficult one and in trying to plan accordingly by scheduling as much as possible to keep myself from thinking too much. After a teeth cleaning at the dentist and a trim at the salon, I found myself back at the house for a couple of hours before a yoga class. It was the third anniversary of my trip to Australia and though I reflected on it often, today especially I was flooded with memories. Originally planning to stay for two weeks, the trip had stretched into almost two months after unexpected circumstances. I had met Derek. We jokingly acknowledged that it's cliche, but he had been the tour guide on a day-long boat trip I'd taken with my friend, and afterwards, the three of us had gone to a bar. Derek and I clicked immediately. My traveling companion had returned to the States as originally planned after two weeks, but I hadn't wanted to leave Derek. I knew the relationship probably wouldn't last as we barely knew each other, and it would surely never survive the distance, so I also knew that the day I left Australia, it would be over. I hadn't wanted that. The end of this month would mark the third anniversary of our relationship, which had become official on his balcony, overlooking a still ocean in the darkening sky. There, we had decided to give ourselves a chance, even though we both secretly worried it wouldn't last. Thankfully, it had. Thanks to some extremely high phone bills and lots of internet messaging, Derek and I had successfully maintained a long-distance relationship for those three years. We'd met in New York once over Valentine's Day and recently he'd flown to Chicago to meet my family. 